what's up guys i'm shane and welcome back to our casper college prestige dynasty where seven games in we're winning by an average score of 51 to 5 in these games um this we need to win it all this year because it's only gonna get worse i feel like these episodes are already not very entertaining i guess unless you really like the blowouts so if i can't win the national championship with the way this year is going then i i don't deserve to win one i guess so I feel like regardless, this is going to be the last season of Casper. We should cap it off, but, you know. Heisman watch, we got Bingo Klutz still on top. That's always good to see. I f is he really 15 rushing touchdowns? It's the receiving, isn't it? He's only got four receiving touchdowns, but he's got nearly 600 receiving yards. Um, He's got almost as many receiving yards as he does rushing yards. Okay, well, that, that would make sense then. Right, so Notre Dame's on top, TCU in front of them, and then us. I have, it, it would be funny if we went undefeated and then didn't get into the natty. <laughs> like that would be kind of hilarious. But I have a feeling, I mean, TCU almost lost to Texas right there, 24-21 in overtime. Notre Dame just gets to play cupcakes all the time, so. I still, I, I still, I want us to play the Natty against Nebraska. That, that's what I'm hoping for. It won't be Black Rock because to get to the Natty, we'd have to beat Black Rock and pretty much knock them out of contention. But uh, first up, we got to get our revenge on Colorado. Overall, we're pretty close. Their offense is pretty good. Their defense is slightly better than ours. Um, I don't know. Unless the elevation throws us off, we should be able to handle this one. Na, 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 na. Oh, I'm like, maybe if I sing the Back to the Future theme, he'll get a good return. And it almost worked, except one guy snuck through the blocks. 70 up the field. Good blocks. Uh, unfortunately, that flag's probably going to make that come back. Oh, no, they got a face mask on the end. Never mind. Incredible run by Bingo uh, Klutz, mostly on some blocks. But we'll take the free 15 yards at the end. Now, usually I look for Gordon on this one, but um, I got to keep attention on that left side of the field because Allman or McFly could get open. Either one of them did. Throw it out. That's weird that he threw it all the way over there, but okay. Ooh, that's a heavy blitz. Nope, I'm out of here. Goodbye. Just take that first down and live. McFly, he got that drop out of his system early. Good counterplay for Klutz, picking up nine on that one. And there's the first. And in for the touchdown. Uh, I don't think we completed a pass on that one. Nope. Ooh, Avery got stiff arm, but he only picks up three, so that's all right. Avery, you're just a sacrificial lamb. Oh, crap. Can't outrun Yankum. <laughs> that's, that's one way to shut it down. Number seven, Michigan just went down. Doesn't really help us at all. Notre Dame smoke Navy. Oh, I almost took Bell. I was supposed to be covering that uh, halfback. He stayed in the block, and I almost sprinted backwards to get a pick on a man I wasn't covering. And he missed that one. Cool. Okay, that linebacker came through. We broke the tackle and then tripped over him anyways. That D lineman's pretty quick. Um, oh, for four, I'm passing now for Allen. That's not that's not a good start. Okay, was well, gonna go for a screen, but they're not blitzing, or at least not a very good blitz if they are. Yeah, that was better. Ooh, close with a little step back there, bouncing off the defender. All righty. Yeah, there we go. Nice coverage on Baker. I saw that one all day. 
All right, well, even the read options are staying with clutch today, so it's a nice change of pace, I guess. Oh, I, I tried to get cute. I'm like, oh, I got Allman coming across. Let me throw him the ball. That guy came right after me, though. Yeah, I thought he was going to stay in coverage. I'm like, oh, I got this. She just ran for it. Uh... Now I'll run for it. Downfield block by Smithy, getting out of bounds, untouched. Perfect. 14 yards. What, what's a field goal to me at this point? I got to keep myself challenged. Apologies to our kicker. Marty McFly, there we go. Caught the ball and went down, but hey, he got open. Everyone's tired, but Klutz untouched for a touchdown. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, his highs in Kansas City is just, uh, his stock's continuing to rise, I guess. I'm also, like, the way I'm recording these now, it's it's bulk recording, but I'm sort of alternating. So I finished up season one of the Relegation League, which you guys have already seen everything I recorded up to this point. But before that, I recorded everything you've seen for Casper before I went back. Like, I did, like, four, three or four episodes of the Relegation League, then did the first seven games of Casper, then went, finished up Relegation League, now back here. So I've been bouncing back and forth. So I don't know what I sounded like before, but like the idea of a freshman winning the Heisman is obviously not far-fetched to me anymore because uh, we did that with the relegation league. Also, I'm going to, I made a good play on that one. I know I needed Isaac Gingham to help finish him off, but still I got back there. So yeah, I, I fully believe in Bingo Klutz's ability to win a Heisman. Potentially, we got to keep his stats up though. Unlike that guy. What a way to end the first quarter. End of the first quarter, up 14-0 on Colorado, and we're about to get the ball back. So that we're starting on the 40. Okay, Z spot with no rollout. I flip the play. I usually don't. But I want to give McFly some more room to work. Oh, God, that was a mistake. Thank God he just deflected that one. Yeah, <laughs> Zone coverage on Caden Baker on a curl route. I didn't, even, I didn't even look on the other side. Maybe I could have had square wide open, too. I have no idea. I didn't have to look. Oh, they're bringing a blitz this time. Yeah, no thanks. No thanks. <laughs> I don't know how that one worked. I'm like, let me try lobbing at a short distance. And I think the guy was anticipating it to be a bullet because he, he jumped and mistimed it. I let Allen fight for that one. I had Allman on a corner strike. He was about to be wide open in the back of the end zone. He was already wide open. I was holding the button down, and the, the, it just got there. I promise I'm trying to get everyone involved. But then they bring a... I, I don't... You know what? It's fine. We're just going to run into this one, and we're going to see what happens. Klutz managed to get three. Okay. Okay, coach called four verts. Uh, we're, we're kind of out of field for this one, bud. And once again, that D lineman keeps up with me because I had McFly and I did not have time to set my feet. We'll just take the field goal this time. It's cool. Ooh, Jawan Cena almost got himself a pick right there. See, their running back is doing work when he gets the ball. They're just, they want to pass it more than anything. This is how you can tell Dion hasn't taken over the school yet in this game. He almost fell forward for that. He almost broke off a of Yankum and me diving through and got it, but just barely missed it. All right, last time I ran this play, we got Caden Baker all alone. Let's see if it'll happen again. No, it's he got tackled by his own man. That's kind of hilarious to me. He um 
It's hard to explain, and I'm not going to show the full replay. It's like he had to hesitate. Like, I I guess the ball, that guy, they're in the bench. It's all going wrong. I guess I, I, I'm just trying to make exciting plays happen. I don't know. It It's hard to describe that one. Something went wrong. Something went wrong there, too. Oh, you know, it's not the altitude. It... It, it's legal in Colorado. That's what it is. Harvey, bud, come on. After the game, not before. You should know this. Somehow I successfully defended two people. I'm having a good day playing defense today. For me. Now the computer, not so much. There you go, Harvey. There's your redemption. There, I was going to say, please get back there. Yeah, oh, yeah. Gillette had that one wrapped up. Oh, no, it was Jones Thomas. Gillette's 55. Why did I let my linebackers be 54, 55, 56? Like, I could have made it easier on myself, but apparently I refused to. So, uh, apparently there's been no offense in this quarter. Because we have 28 total yards. And we have more yards than them. Wow. Okay. I, I keep forgetting Barry Allen does not throw on the run very well. He's having a terrible day. 5 of 14. It's not, not a great day. To be fair, that's a lot of the pressure getting in his face, so. And right there, that wasn't good. Allman ran up. Oh my god, that was perfect. That was perfectly placed. I was like, do I just scramble this and try and pick up a few yards? Like, what do I do here? Because he was covered pretty well. Yeah, see, I got me scrambling out. That guy ran up just enough, but right there, just drop that in the bucket. Coach decided my reward was that he was going to suggest smash, which means I get to flip the play, which... Okay, man coverage, because there goes that safety. Oh, okay, I'll take Lutz. Oh, yeah, I'll take once all day on the dump off, picking up 24. Another blitz coming. All right, fine. You know what? I see what you're doing. I don't need to kill the quarter. Oh, they... they Oh! Hit as I threw, and somehow that was exactly what needed to happen. Klutz with a 22-yarder on four verts. He looked covered, and then when he ran inside, that safety just stood still. And Lloyd Montebello in here because uh, Allen can't take more than two hits in an entire game or he dies. Knee bruise will return soon. Well, at least not a concussion. Okay, backup halfback in here too. Dart, I didn't need the muscle on that one. He, he, I could have probably scored a touchdown on that one. Increasing our lead, only 48 seconds left and a half. This is what I'm talking about. My watch time on these episodes has to be like way down in comparison because I'm sure everyone... That was the easiest thing I could have covered, and I blew it. Thank God he dropped it. Has anybody watched the second half of the, this series all season? Like, has anyone stuck around for the second half? It's okay. I'm not mad if you don't. I don't even want to be here for the second half. <laughs> Yankum doesn't want to be here at all, apparently. And in the first half, yet again, total domination. Up 24 nothing. We're so confident that Stan Royal switched to a black helmet. Oh, the drop there. You got lucky. Don't don't applaud. You got lucky. <laughs> he went to take off and ran right in the Yankum. That's all right. If he didn't have it, I was standing right there, too. He wasn't getting far. Third and 17, and coach is like, hey, let's call a heavy blitz. It's like, no, that's, that, that's how they gain all the yards on a screen. Drop everyone in coverage. And apparently they throw it there. All right, well, does Dakota Bell get a swat for that one? Does that count? I don't know. 222 yards to 33. Sheesh. Hi. Hi. You know what I just realized as I'm falling asleep on the couch? What's that? You never got me coffee. You never made it for me like you said you were. This is the worst your birthday ever. <laughs> <laughs> 
You didn't give me a massage. You didn't make me coffee. You barely even heated up my lunch. Yeah. Get the f*** out of my office. <laughs> I forgot what I was doing, so I'm just going four verts and going for it. Beautiful. That was damn near a horse collar on Almond, too. McFly all by himself. Oh my god, that guy blew the tackle. McFly taking that for 13. He should have barely picked up that first. Blood's breaking off every single tackle just to pick up two yards. Oh, so why is there a giant... Oh, it's a slant. Oh, the, the Colorado's slanted. So why is there a giant green, though? Like, so much of the stadium I really like. Like, it kind of just looks like a mansion, honestly, around it. But why is there a big green? Like, look at on the top of the screen, sort of in the back there. Like, it, it looks like a really nice house. Which is what I've heard a lot about Colorado. Just everything looks nice. It seems like a place you want. We missed the extra point. Good job, Cash Money. That's why you don't get to kick field goals anymore. But I just, I don't understand the green. Is that like the track? Like, why is it? And not even like a real shade of green. It's that Disney invisible green color they use around uh, Disneyland. Oh, God. But I can blatantly see it because there's a thing called contrast. So I'm very confused. This is where my brain goes when I am absolutely not challenged by this game. Completely dominating this team when our quarterback just got over 50% completion percentage on the day. Oh no, Cena gave up the rare play. He's usually locked down over there. Damn. Whoa. That was the easiest pass you could ever catch and you just spiked it like it was volleyball. Stopped them just short. They might go for it, though. Yeah, there they go. Ah, Wilkerson. You know, it's okay that you only deflected that one and didn't pick it. We get better field position. Wide open running lane. Beautiful run. 100 yards as a team. What is Klutz at now? 71. Three touchdowns. Yeah, I'd say he's having a good Heisman day. I took Allen and cut that back inside. Oh my god, we did not have time to slide down. Please get up. Thank you. He's supposed to run to the outside. I just didn't like what that looked like, so I cut it back in. I wonder if I can get Smithy on this one. I don't usually have the patience for that route, but I, I might try it. No. That was inaccurate. I think if it was accurate, we maybe had it. Oh, we're back under 50% completion. Actually, thing bugging me right now is we don't have a passing touchdown yet. Oh, Almond changed that real quick. Oh, I almost got in there with the blitz. <laughs> I was so close. All right, the zone coverage is not working. Either that, or this is one of the computer just gives them like that one drive to make them feel better about themselves. With the QB draw, oh god, we had no one on him. <laughs> <laughs> Brewington was like, not today. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was debating today whether or not to record this episode or go in chronological order of what I need and go for Saints Row. I feel like I got better ragdoll out of this game than Saints Row right there. Jesus. Ooh, that wheel. Oh, he stepped out of bounds and helped me out. Thank you. Okay, good reversal. Good job. And in the third quarter, up 37 nothing, but they're in scoring position for the first time today. They might come back. Ooh, the garbage animation. Which actually kind of works out for us. So fourth and one, I'm going to assume they're going to go for this. They sure are. Because if they didn't get that garbage animation, they might have settled for a field goal. We got a shot at a shutout still. A slim one. A very slim. Never. Oh, my God. Never mind. Dakota Bell clocked him. 
You're the safety. No, 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 you're not the D lineman. That was your brother, bud. Or your father. I, I don't know how it works. He's Dakota Bell II, but Dakota Bell was only here a couple years ago. Allman got popped. Damn, I'm like, oh, I can catch him on this slant here. They won't see it coming. They, they saw it coming. Hang on, because we're on the 7, and I don't think they know who they're playing. That guy was running up, and I'm like, oh, yep, I got McFly all day. And there's a clipping call, too. I mean, it's only half the distance. Coach is spooked. He's like, we got to run the ball now. We're too close to our own end zone. Um, yeah, I guess so. Damn, that guy came flying up. Okay, Coach wants a screen pass. Here's the problem. I don't have enough room for a screen pass. With how much you have to backpedal, there's not enough room there. There's enough room to take a shot at the bingo klutz. He dropped it. That was a hard catch to make. That's fine. I was about to go for a fake there, and I realized where we are. Ooh, that counts as a sack. Good job, Harvey. Okay, that was terrible zone coverage. How are you going to stand, like, two feet to the left of that guy? Or to the right. Or from my angle, it's the left. Thank you! Ooh, Champ Avery. There we go. <laughs> oh, that was gorgeous. Came flying through to get that one. I guess we should probably start working on chewing clock, but they're creeping up with a blitz. And the best way to chew clock is to score more touchdowns. Oh, that safety came through. I probably should have gone for Baker on the outside, actually. Their defense is playing pretty well. Like, they're they're not making anything easy on us. We're still obviously doing fine. But it's not like a cakewalk. Oh, my God, those pancakes. We didn't get that one downfield, but that's all right. Clutch always good for one broken tackle. 16 yards on that screen. Because we needed it. Oh, my God, that guy broke his own ankles. <laughs> He's like, I'm going off the halfback. Wait, the QB's keeping it. Like, he, he, he took himself out. All right, Dart, how are you going to do an counter play? Because you're supposed to be a big... Oh, yeah, okay. The bruiser is still taking that for nine. I'm just uh, chewing clock here. I'm trying to get Bingo Klutz to 100 yards. Which would have been easier had he not gone out for a couple plays there. Jalen Dart had some pretty good runs. And now he's back out here. Yeah, that's the problem. It's like, we're running out of field here. Oh, yeah, you done goofed. <laughs> oh, there was not enough people there. And as soon as I saw Smithy get that pancake, I'm like, oh, yeah, there's a touchdown right there. Bingo Klutz. I think it's his fourth today. 100 yards on the ground for him now. Another 80 or so through the air. This one's probably over. Yeah, you know it's a wrap when you got Schilling out here and you got Bricker Malone out there who just whiffed that tackle because I, I screwed him on that one. I just, I don't want to give up any points and I wanted to get a garbage touchdown at the end and I don't think it's going to happen. So we're going to lower what our defense gives up each game as long as they don't score a touchdown here, which is great. But we're not going to score. We need to score another touchdown to keep our points up. I just realized their backup is in there. Do they have all backups too? Or is it that their quarterback just get hurt? No, that's the last play of the game. Booker with the garbage time sack. Good job, bud. All right, well... We helped out Bingo Klutz Heisman candidacy. We shut them out. We scored 44. No one got hurt. There we go. Yeah, 106 yards on the ground, 81 through the air. Four rushing touchdowns. Jesus. Okay. Um, Pretty much as good a game as you can get, considering that defense was uh, definitely making Barry Allen struggle a little today. And hey, even Jalen Dart getting for the score. That almond touchdown was a thing of beauty, though. All righty, final stats on today. Montebello went 1-1 for four yards. Okay, well, there you saw the field again. 
Allen, 12 of 26. That's not great. 222 yards, a touchdown, and a pick. Hey, the yards look good. Rushing Klutz, 106 yards on the ground with the four touchdowns, two broken tackles. Allen had 51 on the ground. Dart had 18 and a touchdown. Bingo Klutz, four for 81. I promise I'm not trying to throw him the ball all the time, but just it was what was working. Caden Baker, three for 40. Allman at three for 77. That gorgeous touchdown and another one that he should have had, but we got sacked right before I could do it. McFly had two for 22 and his usual drop, and Smithy had one for six. Gordon with three pancakes, Woolen in with two, Manly is bald, and Billy Mays all getting pancakes. Nothing for Stan Royal today, huh? Oh, well. Jones Thomas on the team with six tackles. Champ Avery right there with five. Jones Thomas, two TFLs, two for Yankum, including a sack. Ryan got one. Harvey got one for a sack. Dakota Bell, the second, getting one. And Booker getting in there in uh, garbage time, one for a sack. Champ Avery with a beautiful pick. Bell, Cena, Wilkerson all getting past deflections. That Bell one, that was, um, there was no one around him. He literally just had to punt, like, spike that ball to the ground. Yeah, this is this is going to have to be the last year of Casper. Like, even if we don't win it this year, I mean, what what if, if we're doing this now, everyone on this team is pretty much young. They're all going to get player progression. We're going to be better. And then imagine if you also add on top of that, if we get a Heisman winner. It's going to be a wrap. It's going to be 80 to nothing every game next year if that happens. So this has to be the last year of Casper. I, I'm, I need to not choke it. I'm worried about the Black Rock game. I don't know if that's next week or if it's in a couple weeks. Because we got four games left, and we've got, what, we got North Texas, Black Rock, Baylor. Is it Arizona State? Who's the fourth one? It, it, the, the fourth one is, like, inconsequential. So we've got those three definitely coming up. And, um, yeah, Baylor's going to close out the season. I'm not worried about them. North Texas is a good overall, even though they're struggling. Black Rock, they're ranked in the top five right with us. So that's definitely the one that I'm circling. And if we embarrass them, then Sky, I can probably super sim the rest of the year and win the Natty at this rate. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. Any thoughts, suggestions, whatever you may have, leave it all down in the comment section below. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.